Hey, what's up, Chapel of Change? This is Pastor Brian, and I wanted to bring to you a special announcement uh, from uh, my retreat center that I'm at. Uh, once or twice a year, I get away by myself, go up on a hill, and uh, spend some time praying, writing, thinking, kind of envisioning what God would have uh, the church to do and be uh, in the next season. I got blessed this time with a larger room. Usually I get a small room, uh, but since there's nobody here, they gave me a bigger room. And so um, there, as I've been here the last two days, uh, the Lord has given me two words that I want to share. Uh, the first word is the word shift, shift. Uh, I believe that we need to shift from the mentality of surviving to the mentality of thriving amid uh, the COVID-19 virus. When we first went on quarantine in March, our mentality was, okay, how are we going to survive these next couple months? And then we'll get back to what we uh, were doing. And the Lord blessed us in that, but it is looking more and more that this COVID virus has marked a new day and error, that it is not going to go back at least 100% to how things used to be. And so we need to shift from just surviving to, to how does it look for us to thrive as a church in the midst of this COVID virus. Now, in order for us to do that, this second word comes into play, and that is the word contend, contend. Uh, there is a scripture in Jude that says we are to contend for the faith, right? Um, we need to, particularly chaplet change, contend uh, for our core values, contend for what it means for us to be the church. What are our core values? We are people who pray. We are people who worship. We are people who grow. We are people who serve. We are people who reach. We are people who send. We are people who display diversity. Those core values are not going to just manifest. We got to contend for them like no other time. I think this is in line with what Jesus said, that we are to press in to the kingdom of of God. One of the major uh, things that has happened as a result of this COVID virus is historical disruption. The world has been disrupted. Our lives have been disrupted. And as a result of this disruption, our rhythm of worship, our rhythm of studying the Bible, our rhythm of fellowshipping uh, has been disrupted. And it's easy to fall into a rut. And when we get into that rut, it's hard to pull back out of that rut. And so I want to encourage us. We are going to have to contend for all that God wants us to be and to do. Um, how do you do that? I want to encourage you to get back into the rhythm of corporate worship online. Set your schedule for 7.15 Thursdays and Sundays at 10 a.m. Uh, turn your sanctuary, uh, your living room into a sanctuary. Turn your kitchen to a sanctuary, or wherever you're watching. Turn your car into a sanctuary. Since we started uh, in March, we have had significantly declined in our online viewership. We have moved from 400 live viewers on Sunday to 100 live viewers on Sunday. And that's concerning because that points to that we have been disrupted and, and we are no longer in this rhythm of worship. So I want to encourage you, really, really want to encourage you and even challenge you, contend for your rhythm of worship. Set your schedule, live by it. If you don't have underlining conditions, physical conditions, if you're not sick, I really want to encourage you to gather with us in our ver various gatherings. We have outdoor worship on Saturdays in Whittier at 5 p.m., outdoor worship in Carson and Paramount and on Sundays. If you don't have underlining physical conditions, if you're not sick, contend for that space, contend for that time. This Saturday, 8.30 at Paramount, we have a prayer summit. We need to pray. We need to pray like no other time in history. 
If you're not, if you don't have underlining conditions, if you're not sick, I would encourage you to join us. You're going to have to contend for that space. It's not going to just fall on your lap. So my brothers and sisters, I want to encourage us that God could have allowed us to be birthed at any time in history, but he has allowed us to be birthed at this time so that we can show the world what it looks like to be the kingdom of God. We cannot wait for something to change. We cannot have the mentality of just trying to survive. No, we got to show the world what it looks like to be the church of Jesus Christ. We need to show the world what it looks like to be the kingdom of God. And that is what Chapel of Change is going to do. I want to encourage you to follow us. I want to encourage you to uh, come with us as we press in to the kingdom of God together. I'm going to leave you with this one verse uh, out of Hebrews chapter 10, verse 38. It says, but we do not belong to those who shrink back and are destroyed, but to those who have faith and are saved. That's who we are, Chapel of Change. That's who we are. God has birthed us for such a time as this. And I'm excited. It's intense times, but it's exciting times. And I pray, I pray that you journey along with us, with Pastor Laura and I and the rest of the pastoral team. We love you. We're praying for you. If you need anything, let me know. Send me a text and we're cheering for you. I hope to see you soon. God bless you.